high school football like never before. Highlights, instant reaction, and all the scores. 17 Sports Director Taylor Shaw brings you FFX, Friday Football Extra, driven by Sangira Subaru, and Dignity Health, Mercy and Memorial Hospitals. Oh, welcome into week seven of FFX. The second half of the high school football season is now underway as league play begins throughout the county. Rivals, new and old, face off as lines are redrawn and the stakes are raised. We start in Wasco tonight, where 17's Chris Burton has been tracking the Tigers and Thunderbirds. Chris? Well, Taylor, real fun game here. SSL play actually began a couple of weeks ago, and through two games, both Wasco and Kennedy are 2-0 in league. But someone must go tonight. Let's go. Scoreless in the second until J. Cal De Leon. T-Bird's driving, and he is going to cap off that drive with a little power run here. 7-0 RFK. Taking it still in the second. Wasco on the move. Isaiah Acosta down the sideline and nearly untouched as a Tiger touchdown. Wasco would miss the point after, so 7-6 T-Birds. And how about an encore? We're going to call his name again. Acosta breaking a tackle, taking it all the way home for the score. 74 yards to the promised land. Tigers on top, 12-7. But RFK, they would respond. Big play of their own. Julian Sanchez, the hole, the cut, the stay on his feet. He can't be stopped. 53 yards to green spaces. Touchdown, 14 to 7, Thunderbirds, and we pick it up to the fourth now. I, uh, Julian Sanchez, he's going to cut, he's going to find a hole, and he's gone. This time, a 28 yard score. RFK hangs on to win, 20 to 12. Let's hear from Coach. The kids really stepped up. Had a lot of guys playing out of position today, and, and it really shows the hard work that they're able to put in to overcome some of the things that have occurred this week. Missing guys, injured guys. That, that uh, We had a lot of guys playing out of position. They did a great job. Very happy about that. Anytime you can beat Wasco, it's a great thing for us. In Valley League play, Tonight at Scotland Yard, Scott's giving the faithful something to celebrate. First quarter, Jojo Mata finds Karam Safa, 25 yards, and the score, it's 7-0 Highland. Indy with a quick response, Prince Ellis airs it out to Anthony Rico. That's a 73-yard touchdown. That senior is a superstar, man. 7-7, seven, seven. how about Ellis again? This time, he keeps the rock and takes it in for the 9-yard TD. 14-7 Indy, Highland had answers all night. This one comes courtesy of Jojo Mata. And the Scots will keep rallying. They win it 44-29. That's your final. All right, believe it or not, only one team in Kern County enters Week 7 unbeaten. The Centennial Golden Hawks were the darling of the preseason, but with a brutal league schedule, they'll have to prove it wasn't all smoke and mirrors. Jihawks starting River League play at Stockdale this evening. First quarter we go. Jihawks, they're in the red zone. It's Jackson McDonald willing his way through a sea of humanity. 6-0 Centennial. Wouldn't stay that way for long though. Mustangs quarterback Isaac Herrera fakes the throw and keeps it himself. So we're tied at 6-all. The Golden Hawks would finally take flight in the second. It's Adam Kopis launching. An absolute rocket to Hoban Hodge. This team has so many weapons, including Kopitz's arm. Centennial never looks back. 33-6, your final. Ridgeview was rocking the purple and gold tonight, but Frontier came in looking to spoil the Wolfpack's homecoming. That's right, both programs coming off commanding wins over Bakersfield teams. Frontier took control early, pushing the Wolfpack into a safety and scoring on the next drive. But Ridgeview did something they, would, they wouldn't do all night. Respond, or they do all night. Respond, Zamir Hall finds the hole from five yards out, it's 9-6 Titans. Zamir Hall was really good in this game. Late in the first half, Frontier scores on the back of Bryson Tablet. Titans up 16-6. Then less than a minute to go in the first half, Andreas Rivera in trouble, finds Hall. We told you, he's been good. 
for this team all season long. Megaris' transfer, the catch and run. Look at him. He can be our FFX player of the week. Who knows? Between him and Waterman, this game would go back and forth all night. Even went into overtime. Let's take a look at your final. The upset. 47-46. Ridgeview takes it. All right, still ahead on FFX, two perennial powerhouses ushering in league play under the Thursday night lights. We're at Garces Memorial High School for your FFX Game of the Week. That's next. You're watching FFX Friday Football. Ball Extra, powered by Sangara Subaru, serving Kern County for over 50 years. Gather round. It's time for your FFX Game of the Week, powered by SCOE, your Southern California Orthopedic Institute. Well, this is a first. It's Friday, and our Game of the Week has already come and gone. That's right, Liberty and Garces has ushered in league play with a defensive battle under the Thursday night lights. Patriots entering last night as the 25th ranked team in the state, but they've lost two out of their last three outings, a little uncharacteristic. It was a defensive battle early on, Liberty on the board first, Cole O'Brien to Xander Chisholm, 61 yards in the score. So it's seven, nothing Patriots. It would stay that way until the fourth quarter. We told you it was a defensive battle, well, then Jalen Hankins provides all the insurance Liberty would need. Look at him. On the run, couldn't be taken down until he found the promised land. 13 nothing. That's your final. Let's hear from Brian Nixon. Uh, it's a hard-fought game. You know, they played some really, really good football teams in the preseason for a reason. And, uh, you know, it was a lot of penalties both ways. And... Uh, it's start a league, so just got to keep moving forward. Oh, my goodness. It's probably one of the best defensive outputs we've ever seen over 25 years. I mean, they're on the field quite a bit, and um, we bend. You know, we had them third and short. You know, you had a penalty. They extended the play, and we still got them off the field. And, and then eventually, you know, we gave up two, two big plays in, in, uh, late late in the third and fourth quarter. But, but uh, hats off to our defense and, and uh, all they did because that, that was impressive. All right, we've talked a lot about this off-season re, uh, league realignment. Well, this one's going to take some time to get used to. BHS out of the Power League for the first time and opening up their second half against BCHS. That's right, BCHS, BHS, both teams coming off wins to close out preseason play. Fireworks to open this one. First play of the game. It's Ty Ontario calling his own number. He takes it up the middle. It's a 60-yard touchdown. So just like that, it's 7-0 Drillers. BCHS would respond on the following drive. It's Jordan Delgado finding a wide open Jacob Gutierrez. 42 yards. And the touchdown. And the celebration. 7-all. Still first. Eagles on the move. Bryson Waterman. You're going to hear that name a lot tonight. 16 yards around the left side. BCHS up 14-7. Second quarter, Drillers in the red zone. Who else? Montario again muscles his way in. And then it's Waterman again. We you said you're going to hear his name a couple of times. Here's the second time. That's a kick return. House call 38-14. That's your final. All right, Arvin, Boron, the Bears absolutely rolled the Bobcats, 35-6. Next on FFX, a showdown in Delano. It's the Titans and the Tigers battling for city bragging rights. FFX is proud to partner with Valley Sports Media. Follow at V Sports Media for exclusive football content throughout the season. Watching FFX Friday Football Extra, powered by Dignity Health, Mercy and Memorial Hospitals. Hello, human kindness. Welcome back. In two weeks of league play, Chavez upset Shafter in a shootout and won by the largest margin in program history against the Cougars. Titans hoping their recent offensive uptick carries over in Delano. Tigers trying to shake off a shutout loss at the hands of Kennedy. First quarter, 
Chavez ball. Santana Morales slings it to Ryan Ruiz. He gets slippery, dodges some defenders in for the first score of the game. Tigers strike right back. Check out the cannon of Eddie Silva to George and got to. Game tied at 7-all. Titans would take over from their second quarter. Israel Gonzalez hugging the sideline. Can't be stopped. That's a 50-yard score. Chavez stays perfect. 54-14. Right, it was homecoming night in warrior country, Tehachapi, showing their grit after suffering their first loss of the season. First quarter, South up 6-0, Tehachapi on the move. It's Levi Hart going up the gut. That completes a 66-yard drive. The Warriors were ahead 7-6 there, and the Mountain Men would return to the winner's circle. They had 387 yards of total offense as they win it 26-20. A couple of east side schools Facing off tonight, Blade's still looking for that elusive first win, and they get it. Matt Moore drops back, finds Frank Francesca. Blade's take an early lead, more Blades in the first half. Moore finds number 34. We couldn't find him on the roster, but we want to give him his due. If you're out there, send us your name. Pretty impressive snag. 28-0. East gets their first victory of the season. It's got to feel good. All right, still, uh, still ahead here on FFX, we've got more highlights and reaction from across the Golden Empire. FFX is proud to be fitted by Finos. When it comes to quality men's suits in Bakersfield, Finos men's wear and tuxedo is all you need. You're watching FFX Friday Football Extra. Powered by Dignity Health, Mercy and Memorial Hospitals. Hello, human kindness. Welcome back to FFX. Finally tonight, North paid a visit to the home of the Vikings. If West was trying to regroup after a less than stellar non-league schedule, well, tonight showed there's still more work to be done. Late third, 20-7 stars Dylan Kyle provides some extra insurance that's a 10-yard touchdown. North takes it 28-7. to seven. All right, so we had some impressive games so far this week. I think the big one that kind of stands out is that overtime victory by Ridgeview. I mean, very surprising for the Wolfpack to go into the, a game with the Titans and upset a team out of the Power League, but Ridgeview was a powerhouse for a very long time. We also had a great game last night between BHS and BCHS, as well as that incredible defensive battle between Garces and Liberty. We'll have it all on Sunday and more on your expanded edition. In the meantime, you can go to FFX on KGT.com.